Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Don't forget, I've got a Model 3 2019 model, but this is for your models of 22 plus, 21, all of the models across the range. If you've got a, a USB stick for your sentry mode and you're getting this fault where the X comes up and it says no space or even dash cam unavailable then I'm going to take you through that, what you need to do, how you can do it from the car. It'll all be done. And many thanks to Sabina, who I saw at the charge port yesterday. And she said to me, oh, how do you do this? And she said, I'm sure loads of people won't know about it. And so I made a video for all of you so you can do it. Look at all the details right now. Mal's back talking Tesla. To see the enhancements made to my Tesla and how to update yours, Please subscribe to the channel and you can message me with suggestions or for help. Okay, so you've got your drive in, there's an X on the screen and you need to know what's going on. So first you do is you go into the quick controls, the first one, the controls on the top and you can see straight away it says no space, which is why there's an X on the, th on the actual drive, it won't work. So to get that clear, you slide down to safety and you scroll up and you see there it says delete dash cam clips. So we're going to delete them. Delete them. There we go. And it takes about four or five seconds. Sometimes you will have to plug the actual unit out. I've got a switch here so I can turn it off. Turn it off. I'm going to switch it back on. Don't worry that this is a 2019 model. This covers all of your models and yours is no exception. Just because my unit plugs into the front of the center console, yours will plug in to the glove box like this. But there is something more sinister happened with Tesla since that. And that is that basically they run out of chip shortage and they, they didn't put as many sockets in for you to have signal as they first had. So in your instance, if you've got the later models, you've only got one place that you can actually plug your sentry mode in and that's in the glove box. And also, strangely enough, if you have a separate USB stick, you could plug that in and have your light shows, but that's the only place that you'll be able to plug it in. If you plug it in any other port, they won't work. Okay, so this is interesting. If you press the record here, you can turn it on. And if you press it again, it's recording and it'll come on a second and then it's ready to go on again. And if you hold it, you can turn it off. And that's a lot easier when it's down here it's not so sensitive all sorts of buttons come up and it's a, a real pain to, to get it off um, so ideally that's the best one to have it the next thing i'm going to tell you very important is the settings so let's go back to safety and let's go above the clips and here we've got the following off manual auto and on honk now you can turn the on off on honk off but the idea of the honk which is the horn is that you can bib the horn and save a clip when it's an auto it'll automatically do it but not maybe at the time that you want that bit of footage so what i do is i have the auto and the on hook on and that means that we're there and now if we went back to controls and we hit my honk now like so you see it says recording and it'll come back to the red there it goes it's sorting if you took your stick out of the car took it upstairs put it on your computer you could check it you could reformat it you could do everything you need to write tesla cam back in on the drive it says recent clips save clips and sentry clips so the maximum drive you can put in i put in a terabyte and it's been good and the minimum you can have is 1.8 you can buy one from tesla they're 41 dollars alexa how much is 41 dollars 41 us dollars is about 33 pounds and 94 pence and that's formatted properly and it's the right one because if you get one on amazon 
may not be the right one. And the reason what I mean by right one, it will work, but they have to be endurance. They have to be heavy endurance. What that means is it has to write and rewrite many times because it just writes over the old stuff and keeps writing. When it gets full, it writes over it. But eventually it gets so clogged up it can't write anymore. That's when you have to delete all the clips. And if you press delete the clips, it takes all of them. It just gets it rid of everything. So you can't be selective. You can't go, oh, I want that one deleted. I want this one deleted. It won't allow you to do that. It deletes everything. So that's no good, is it? If you want to just have a saved clip, you can't. So what the answer is, is if you've got stuff on there saved, I have my own memory, little one. And that's got about 128 gigabyte of information on it. I used to have two terabyte SSD, and that stands for solid state drive. And what that means is, is no working parts. So it's brilliant. And for two years, I had that working absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with it. Out of the blue, I get a load of problems with all my stuff not working. So I call up Tesla, they do a diagnostic and they said, there's something in your plugged in port. You need to remove it. It's, it's the drive that's on your Tesla cam. It's actually um, corrupted. So I unplugged it, everything came back all right, plugged it back, same problem. So I had all my music on there and partition drive. So what I had to do was remove it and get a separate one now for my music and a separate one for dash cam. So never partition them and make them all on one because if, if you've got a lot of music, then you'll lose it all because if the drive goes down and it will. And I thought an SSD drive that's made for rewriting and writing, unfortunately, it was no good. There's some good videos coming up now, so watch them. We're gonna bring out blind spot camera moving. So they're gonna be at different places. So watch that little video. It's only about 30 seconds, so that won't take up too much of your time. And this other video, watch this one. It's all about putting Alexa in the car. Alexa, what time is it? That is my favorite question to answer. The time is 1.43 p.m. I'll be seeing you.